All right, next up we have Prince's 1999 LP. Pick and, anything. Uh, anything. <laughs> and this is his <laughs> second best want. album. El as far as albums go, to me, this yeah. was his second best album. I, I would agree with that statement. I well, wouldn't agree, but... What you got? Um, let's go. Let's do it at the end. Let's yeah, wrap yeah, it up okay, by, yeah, by yeah, breaking yeah, yeah. down our top five. So we yeah. we picked we picked uh, dance music, sex romance, DMSR. Great song. And uh, you know, Bill, sometimes you just gotta say, <laughs> "What the fuck?" <laughs> Risky business. Yep. Remember that scene? Remember that? No. Yeah, yeah. That's the Tom Cruise movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. man, I don't think I've ever even hey, seen that movie. Party. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're at a party. They're playing they dance played music. They played a Prince yeah, joint. Yeah. Oh yeah, man, this, see? This, this, oh, this, yeah. All of a sudden, I got a little bit more respect for Tom Cruise. That's you know, tight. Bill. That's tight. No, I respect Tom Cruise. Let's be real. He's dope. Like he's he he is something to this to our generation. He's not, not going to yeah. see this though. No, no, no. But to real talk. Like he does not. He doesn't fuck up. Every movie he makes going. is a hit, yeah. and he plays himself, in, or at least who he wants us to think he is. And sorry, I didn't mean to yeah, sidetrack. No, no, all good, all good. So, dance music, sex, romance. Tell us about this. I mean, tell us about your experience. I mean, this song in particular is crazy. Uh, here we have. This is a really, really, for lack of a, this is a funky fucking song. Uh, this was the house party song. Right? This is it's James Brown. Yeah. It's George Clinton. Yes. It's Sly and the Family Stone. And then it's also fucking space alien shit. Like he's got, you know, the synth that he chose to use. You know, yeah, what the yeah. fuck is yeah. that sound yeah. supposed to be? You know what I'm saying? Like, and for him to take these elements and be able to make something this funky with it. Yeah. Like there were not many artists that could no. do that. You know what I'm saying? Like and even the title is DMSR instead of spelling yeah. it out. Yep. Like what is that? Yeah, it's he, yeah, this he, was Yeah, I, I, and in my research I found out that he actually, you know, when he was recording this album, he was highly inspired by Blade Runner. And that's how he was wow. trying to get those like futuristic sounds, like the Vangelis, like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which makes total sense. And that's a factoid that I completely love because I love Prince, I love Blade Runner. That's tight. And just to see those things like kind of come together like and learn that later on is just amazing, you know. I got this this album, so I was, you know, little on the bus and this girl I knew, uh, her brother was in the lowriders, in complete lowrider culture. Yeah. So she gave me this album, the Zap album, and the One Out Way album, all on a thing, on a, on a cassette. Cheap 99 cent cassette. Yeah. You fall in love? I, oh, I would get, like, it go, go, and I get to this song, and I'd be like, who's this again? Who's this artist? Who, who is this? And I yeah. remember telling her, like, who's, the, who's, who's this dude? Yeah. yeah. Like, who's this guy? She's like, that's Prince. I go, I need more of that. Yeah. Give me more of that one. Nice. See, by the time this record came out, there was no excuse to not know who he was in my city anymore. Right. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, from Minneapolis. Yeah, even yeah, with yeah. even with Dirty Minded Controversy, yeah. it still was uh it was definitely still it was more of a black thing still. Right. And by the time this record came out, it was really starting to cross over. I don't know about the rest of the world, but in Minneapolis it was crossing over hard no. into the into into the white kids. You know of what course, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so this was the hit record. Like uh in the sense I know Purple Rain was like his breakout one for yeah. a lot, but in Minneapolis yeah, yeah, yeah. this was definitely so, being in Minneapolis, were there any special I mean, like, how accessible was he? Exactly. Yeah, like, or was I mean, there? Nah. Okay. okay. Oh, was I know. There? I can't speak on behalf of the whole scene. Yeah. yeah. But at least to my. No, I went from you. From my, to my average, scene. Not, you know, yeah. from the family. Nah, boy, man. Like, you were. Yeah. You know, here's the thing. There were parties you would hear of, that that I know people that would attend, the Paisley Park parties. But by the time those are cracking, I never even tried to go because I already was on some dumb shit feeling like, oh, I'm somebody. Um, I don't need to go try to be somebody. You know what I'm saying? Kick myself in the fucking face. Right. I should have been trying to go to all of them because right, right, right. for, the, for the, his, the history of it, to, to have been a part of that, I didn't realize what was there. So there was a sense of accessibility if you went out to them parties. Mm -hmm. Now, as it hearing it told from people I know that have been to those parties, you didn't always see them. He wasn't always like right there dancing with you and making pancakes or yeah, whatever, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? But the chance that he might pop out and say Great something or, or, or kick it was there, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, 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 and also probably the community and camaraderie of the people that were there at the party, it's just, a, it's a thing. Uh, I never tried to go, you know? I had one interaction, not even really an interaction, I didn't say nothing to him, but I was in a room with him. I have a couple of those. One time, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got one too, actually. Yeah. Once. I, I was, yeah. Many of his shows, I've seen him perform a handful of times. 
But one time I was in a room with him, and, and that's it. But also, I think by the time I could have tried to make it happen, I was already too blind and arrogant and stupid to realize what was what what, what right, could have been right, there. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, oh, also, the Jamie Star is a thief. You know, before the internet, it wasn't easy to find out what some of these things meant. You know what I'm saying? And so the whole Jamie Star thing, that was a fake name that he chose. Right. To, to use one of many production, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I remember reading somewhere when I was a kid. I don't remember, but reading somewhere that Jamie Star broke down to be Jem uh, Star, like I am a star, like uh, it's French oh. for uh, I am oh, a star. Wow, fucking. Like uh, that sounds like a French thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's the kind of shit as a as a kid. Also, you know, the same reasons I started gravitating to certain things like De La Soul or whatever it was like all of the. All of the inside wit, all of the clever little dumb shit to make kids be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. I tried to do that, you know what I'm saying? Like as, as me and Ant started making music together, I've always tried to put little Easter eggs and weird little things. Now at 45, I'm like, am I still supposed to be doing this kind of... You know what I'm saying? Like it's right, like, right. it's like, what am I... Huh? It's still, and so we still try to think of dumbass little things to include inside of the music. So, but, it, but he's a big part of that for me. He's yeah. a big part of like... Just the weird shit that we've done. Like we put little things at the ends of our 12 inches that don't belong there. Me saying yeah. some shit or just for no reason. This has nothing to do with the song, and it's only on the 12 inch, and it's just for the fans. And but it's all it's all because of this dude, kind of. You know what I'm saying? Like he was the one that made me go, oh, you could do that. Yeah. Oh, you could nice. do that. Elton John never did that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, oh, yeah. you could do that. Like, what is that shit? Yeah. All right, Prince, dance, music, sex, romance.